This is part B of the short early conversations. I talk about why you want to have short early conversations, but here's why it's hard. There's two reasons. Number one, the team's going to be reluctant coming to the leader with a whole bunch of unknown. They're going to want to have a relatively finished product. They're going to want to feel like they're going to show the boss something that they're proud of. And going to the boss and say, here, we're just shaping up some ideas. It just doesn't feel very good. And the second thing that happens is when we go to the boss with that kind of language, the boss typically steps in and says, okay, no, I need you to do this. They get a feeling, oh, these guys are off track. They don't know what they're doing. I need to help them. And that's also bad behavior. It's bad behavior on the boss. And we want to try and resist that. So for the team, the team thinks they're gaining more control over their work by being opaque about what they're working on. So instead, they have to reveal what they're struggling with early and make sure the boss knows, hey, I don't need to solve my problem. Just give me some ideas on how you would think through this. We got this. And it's that revealing early that lets the team maintain control of the project. And this is the really important thing about having short early conversations.